Mick Cronin has to find a way to replace the 17 minutes per game he was getting from Jermaine Lawrence. Lawrence out indefinitely with a sprained toe. No surgery needed, but it will need some rest. He was averaging four points and three rebounds before the injury. And Xavier off to a nice 2-0 start to Big East play. Wins over St. John's and Butler of Chris Mack's team riding a seven-game winning streak into tomorrow's home game against Marquette. Musketeers haven't lost since that three-game skid in the Bahamas, and it was on the island where the players learned a very valuable lesson before setting sail in a new conference. There's no reason for us to treat it any differently because when you try to treat things differently, uh, reverting back to the Bahamas when we try to, like, you know, oh, we're going against Iowa, and, uh, and you know, when you're in awe of something, you just don't play at your best. So right now we're just focused on, on us and doing things that we know we can do. Speaking of doing things they know they can do, 14th ranked UK in action tonight, hosting Mississippi State. First half post game. Look, heads Johnson just flushes that down, but took a huge hit. Seemed to be okay. Second half, Cats start to pull away. Dakar Johnson gets free, and Alex Point just spotted him. Four point Cats lead. Andrew Harrison from the wing pumps in a three. It's a six point game. Wildcats running now. Here's Poitras. 59-51, then a play when you, you kind of knew it was all going UK's way tonight. Julius Randle gets credit for this one. We're not really sure, though, who should get the credit, as you can see. 85-63, Kentucky cruises past Mississippi State. Brian Wenrick is the new head coach named to the post today. A longtime defensive coordinator for the 11-time state champion Bluebirds replaces Dave Mueller. The man who won all of those championships and 250 games in all. Massive shoes to fill, but if the going gets tough, Weinrich can always rely on his mentor. I've already, I've already burned his email up. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid it's going to catch on fire. And, and I told him, I said, I hope you don't mind. He said, absolutely not. And, you know, what a, what a, a great tool to have, you know, to, to be able to rely on him and ask for his advice and, you know, what his thoughts are on things. And so, yeah, I'm excited about him being around for sure.